super stuff. Hey guys, are you also sipping cocktails on a beautiful beach with a beautiful girl? Hi! <laughs> Cheers, babe. So, I hope you guys are also as happy as I am. Because I'm very, very happy. It's more coincidental that I'm here, but it's really great to see that the markets are doing really, really well. Uh, altcoins have gone up a lot. versus Bitcoin since my last video three weeks ago. Um, and um, that's really beautiful. But before we continue this video, I just want to show you guys what a beautiful girl this is. Hi. <laughs> but also, what an amazing beach this is. And you see the, the ocean, the blue ocean. <coughs> so, um, I'm going to put it back down because I know some people of you really don't like shaky videos. Uh, that should do it. <laughs> so, um, what can I say? Um, I'm very happy I was right predicting that altcoins uh, would go up a lot, uh, but I was actually very wrong uh, in, in predicting Bitcoin. I had expected to finally break the all-time high of 1200, um, as it was the third time that it was uh, trying to do that, and it again failed, uh, and it has gone down to 950, it's now back around uh, 1050. But in the meantime, altcoins have gone up, uh, have shot up a lot. And it's really a, 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 a trend, like some of altcoins have gone up 500%, but uh, some 50%, but yeah, the average is about like 100% or so, uh, versus Bitcoin, 100, 200%, even 200 actually on average, because the, the market cap of Bitcoin has dropped from 85% um, since my last video to now 70%. That's a major, uh, a major shock, actually. Uh, for that to happen in only like two weeks time, it's, uh, it's, it's just uh, very, very, uh, very uh, powerful. And, um, and what's very interesting is to see that in the meantime, Bitcoin has actually gone down in fiat value. That's, that's really a, a problem. Um, and it really shows that Bitcoin is, 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 be, is very weak. Um, and, 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 and it's actually concerning for the whole cryptocurrency market because Bitcoin has still the power to pull down all markets uh, in fiat value, all crypto markets. Eh? If Bitcoin fails, it's not sure the other uh, markets or, or the other coins are going to be strong enough in people's mind, eh? in mind share in the world, to really um, make up for that. So I would much prefer to see Bitcoin go into a new all-time high and altcoins gain a lot versus Bitcoin than what we see in the current scenario where Bitcoin is really starting to fail uh, while at the same time the altcoins are going up a lot. So um, I really hope Bitcoin gets its act together sooner or rather than later. Um, what do you think about that sugar pie? Well, I don't have much experience about this, but um, I think... Um better if you like to replace on that you have just to follow your feeling uh, okay sometimes it's not guaranteed that you will be win but in life sometimes it's like this eh? you never know maybe it can be okay it can be good uh, maybe but but uh, like bitcoin it has gone down it's now like thousand euro it was thousand two hundred euro yeah. eh? and it's been like uh, struggling hard to, to I for over half a year now mm -hmm to break that and it, it used and now it's like three four years ago that it, it was also a thousand uh, euro yes, three yes, years yes, ago yes, eh? yes, uh, so it's still not not breaking that so so what i'm saying is that's really weak of bitcoin it used to be much more uh, powerful uh, and it used to go up much quicker in the past eh? um, uh, because now i think have another different coin now it's coming up yeah other so coins, yeah, yeah the current is why it's uh, it's still that, that eh? not going so high, mm -hmm. but it's still okay. I think. Yeah. So, yeah. We never know. Eh? Maybe in future it can be higher, but we not just not just focus on Bitcoin now uh -huh. and try to be positive and then focus with other coin. I think can make success. Eh? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So. Yeah. yeah. I, I think it's a, it's a good time to actually value Bitcoin a little bit more. I have been building up my Bitcoin position again. 
to about 5% or so from 0%. Um, I've been selling some altcoins uh, a little bit, uh, but I, I do want to not rush it uh, because I think we're all going to be shocked how high altcoin is going to go versus Bitcoin. And then I mean with the market cap, it's 85 to 70% of course very quickly, but if you look at the power, it may well shoot through to 60% uh, Sorry, and I'm even 50%. Something. Okay. So, so yeah, um, is it beautiful here, guys? So, yeah, uh, but the question is, what do you do with your money now? Um, so, so I think uh, I wouldn't be buying yet. Uh, the, of course, altcoins that have just gone up 500%, like Dash and, and, and Decrypt, uh, I wouldn't buy that. Uh, but I was, of course, wrong to not recommend. I, I've been recommending Dash, but I've never invested myself. It was a big mistake. Uh, the biggest mistakes I've made is to be too, too critical. Like, in the f and and I've changed that. So luckily, the past half year by investing in in, in Decrypt a little uh, and in Byteball participating in that and and and, and investing in a lot of other coins uh, from Frank's portfolio. Um, so 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 luckily I did that and that has made a very big difference for my portfolio because the coins I've been investing in Order NXT and Clams before. I still have them, but they have not done as well at all as, as some others. And so, but I do think these, uh, uh, as Frank also says in his, his weekly reports, you should really read them. Uh, that uh, and, and, and I also got that tip from uh, someone else, is that the way it will probably go is that um, uh, first Bitcoin goes up, then the strongest altcoin goes up, eh, the Dash, Ethereum, Monero, those are the first to go up after Bitcoin. But after that, you have the mid-cap coins, the ones between 10 and 30 million or so, eh? um, that have now gone times two already also probably, but um, that those are the top, not top five, but the top like 15, 20. They will, are probably now are going to go up a lot. Um, or And then uh, only at the end of the bubble, uh, you have the really low tier coins going up a lot, eh? the top 50, top 100. Uh, and at the final end, you have even shit coins going up. It eh, as the top thousand, eh, all of them. Eh? But we're not there yet. So it's very wise in investing to um, invest in quality before a bubble happens. But once the bubble starts, you sell the quality that has gone up already, and you buy some less quality with it uh, uh, because that hasn't pumped yet. Eh? And it's the same in the cryptocurrency markets. Eh? Um, so uh, what else? Um, so 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 I think it's wise to sell uh, Dash, uh, Decrypt, uh, Ethereum for for the top uh, 15 coins, top 20 coins. Uh, look at Frank's portfolio has uh, selected a lot of those, um, and uh, so 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 what are those names? Uh, you have Game Credits, you have CR Coin, you have Burst, you have uh, oh, yeah. you you have the list there, and. Um, that would be a good move, but also buy ball that's not in Frankie's portfolio, I think is a very good investment at these prices. It hasn't pumped yet, actually it's going from a high of about 20 and it's correct to about 4 and now it's at 6. Uh, so, 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 so I think that's a great investment still. Um, and, and yeah. I should probably consider to take a little bit money off the table just from the crypto market in general and, and go versus uh, fiat or gold again, eh? uh, because there is it's never sure that uh, we will get a new bubble. Uh, there is a, a low risk uh, that uh, Bitcoin pulls down everything. There is that risk. It's a very small risk, but it's there. Or that we just get a global uh, financial crisis, not of the kind of 2008. I don't think we're going to see that anytime soon. But just a correction, because since 2008, we're now 2017, and so uh, that's almost 10 years we had an upward trend, and actually it's been going up more and more, just the global stock markets, uh, and, and so we, we are really due for a correction. And, and, and cryptocurrency is, is, is a high-risk asset, it's like arts or commodities these things uh, uh, they go up at the end of the bubble a lot but they are the first to correct strongly and don't think that these assets are uh, they are just extremely volatile and they will get hit hard by global financial crisis 
um, even gold will get hit. Eh? The best thing to be in at that point is just cash, euros, US dollars, US dollars actually. Um, but US dollar has been quite strong already the past few years and the euro quite weak. Uh, and gold also has performed poorly since 2011, and so that's now six years. Um, so I think gold is still a good investment to diversify some cryptocurrency profits into, because even if we get the financial crisis, gold will correct, but not much, and it will re probably be the first to rebound. Um, so those are uh, my uh, opinions uh, of the markets. Um, and. Um, Yeah, um, I just want to say something else important because I'm sitting here on a tropical island. It's really great, um, uh, but it has to be said that the, the way I have be, that I have been lucky in life to inherit money. Uh, without that, I would not be able to like live from my investments. It's really not so easy to build up capital from nothing, uh, and then at such a rate that you're able to live from it. But it's really great to see that some people in the cryptocurrency market succeed in that. Uh, but I've done very well. The capital I inherited, I have been able to have a return of around 300% now, uh, or about on average 18% per year after paying for my living expenses. That's uh, very, very well done. So that's about 20% per year. That's comparable to um, the best investors in the world. So I'm very proud of that. Um, and 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 um, and and you don't choose where you get born. Uh, some people get born with money, others not. Some people get born in a loving family, other people not. Eh? Uh, some people get born with um, uh, handicaps. Uh, some people get born totally healthy. These things you don't choose. Uh, you don't choose where you get born. Uh, some regions are really terrible. There is no growth at all because of total mismanagement. Uh, while other regions flourish and this all going to influence your life very much but uh, it is within your own power to make the best of it and I think I've really been uh, working hard on that uh, on all levels also financially um, and, and, and my biggest move has been and my hardest challenge was to really risk the money that I invest uh, that I inherited because when you inherit money it usually comes with a lot of well sometimes unspoken sometimes clearly outspoken rules that's come with it which is don't lose it don't risk it eh? but the problem is you're gonna get into stagnation then and not make any money and, and you're actually gonna end up losing money uh, because if you don't grow you decline because you do have to pay for your living expenses and you do have a real inflation of five percent per year so I've learned to take risks calculated risks and sometimes risk too much in the beginning to risk too little later to risk too much but I think I found a great balance there well one some people would say I'm totally crazy to right now risk about 85% uh, in cryptocurrency and only 50% in other markets that's true but if you look at my crypto portfolio like my largest investment is maybe now decrypt it has been growing a lot uh, that's part of Frank's portfolio but um, yeah, um, even that uh, is, 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 is not, nothing in the neighborhood of what I used to risk in, in one coin. Eh? So um, my biggest uh, risks in, in one coin is between 10 and 20%. Eh? So, so if one fails, I still have like nine others that I, I, I bet on, even like uh, 15 others. Eh? So I think that's a wise approach. And I think it's always wise to things that have 10 folded or 20 folded to take money off the table and, and invest in things that haven't pumped yet. That's the way to make money. Eh? Uh, and the way to lose money is to do the inverse. Eh? To start investing in something that's just five or ten folded, you know, you have to accept that uh, you're too late and look for better opportunities. So yeah, uh, that's the most important thing. Uh, what else uh, can we say, Sugar? Um, good luck. Eh? Um, wish you all the best with your choice you make. Just listen to your heart always and listen to your feeling because it's that way you will know what's gonna happen but never say okay I will do it I'm gonna win just say okay I will try some people said never say try say I'm gonna get it but when you lose you will feel sad so just say okay when it happen if my son sh change to get it I get it if not it's not so and then whenever happen you will be happy I wish you all the best and good luck <laughs> thank you baby oh and uh, I just want to add uh, something more 
that is that um, yeah um, if you haven't invested in Byteball yet uh, I would really recommend to do that I've done that that's the only altcoin I've been investing in the past few weeks uh, actual real money yeah, because it was a free distribution but uh, I think it's worth to invest some real money into it because scalability is not a team yet in, in the world only privacy was a team and then Ethereum and smart contracts has also been a team uh, but um, but scalability has only been a problem but it has never been an investment team and I think that that may become a team and the cha and, and that's the big like that's really what you need to do as an investors it's not always about finding quality it's about finding like what people will value in the future eh? uh, be, be, be being ahead of the trend and so if scality becomes an investment team in the crypto community then uh, coins that have different solutions proof of work uh, will flourish so that proof of stake coins eh? that's my bags uh, but it's also the new uh, DAG coins, DAG coins uh, that use uh, like a different system than a blockchain. Eh? Uh, I think the, both these proof of stake and uh, the DAG uh, are much more scalable cryptocurrency solutions that um, 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 some are decentralized, very much more decentralized as a proof of work and will continue to be more decentralized. Others are more centralized, that's not always a problem, like Byteball is pretty centralized. But that can also be like it could be that 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 scalability becomes much more important than decentralization, um, um, and um, and uh, so yeah, um, uh, I would uh, I would invest in that team. I think that's an interesting thing. Um, so voila! I hope you guys uh, enjoyed the video, uh, and I wish you all uh, good luck uh, with your future uh, choices. Bye guys. Oh wait, and before we say bye, let's uh, let's ching, eh? ching ching, on a on a good luck eh? for all of us. Ciao. Bye.